Hi there, and welcome to VSF Recovery Team. This summer, Park Jeep from Burnsville, Minnesota, hosted a Jeep Appreciation Days event at Dresser, and we were asked to be there on hand in case somebody needed some help. And it's a good thing, too, because there were some Jeeps that needed the wrecker. This nice-looking red TJ broke the left side axle shaft. I take it rear. this is holding something on. <laughs> the tire. What'd you break? Broke the axle and the tires either off the beat or pop. He had broken the axle shaft in the middle of a hill climb, and by the time we arrived on scene, he had already used an old trail trick to hold the wheel in to get the Jeep down off the hill. As you can see, the trick is to use a high lift jack bar and some straps to hold the wheel in. When you break an axle shaft in a C clipper axle like the one in this Jeep, there's nothing to hold the wheel in. By strapping the high lift jack bar across the face of the tire, it'll hold the tire and the axle shaft into the housing. Therefore, with power to the other three wheels, you can still drive the Jeep very slowly. Using this trick, it's even possible that he could have driven all the way out of the trail system and back to camp, but it would have taken all day. That's why he was very happy to see the wrecker show up. Yeah. Where are you from? Uh, Eden Prairie, Twin Cities, you know. Yeah. How many years have you been coming out here? Lots. Lots? Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, steady for the last six, and then I was out years before, too. So. What's Bro the uh, Four liter. It's just a regular stock engine, but I've got other, you know, Talk about upgrades. It. Uh, belly up skid plate, um, different short shaft conversion, uh, locker in the rear, true track in the front, um, but it needs more. <laughs> I broke the right one out here last year, and then my buddy Tim broke his right one out here this year, and now I broke the left one out here on this one. So we're three for three at Dresser for breaking axles. So it's like, Sounds I'm, like you need a bigger axle, I'm huh? upgrade, yeah, <laughs> I think so. I'm trying to get this fixed here, I'm going to get it back and take it apart. And, Hopefully got somebody can pick one up in town and bring it back out so we can get it yeah, The park door should be open. Well, I got one back at Tim's house, so it's it's a two-hour round trip, but I've got a friend who maybe, uh, maybe will take care of that for me, so we'll see. Normally, when I pick up Jeeps in the rear like this, I put an upside-down receiver tongue in the receiver hitch to keep my sling away from the spare tire. Without a receiver hitch in the rear bumper of the Jeep, I was a little concerned on how I was going to pick up the Jeep without putting too much pressure on the spare tire and crushing the tailgate. But I had a plan. I had a 6x6 block of wood on the wrecker. That would give me enough space to keep the chains away from the spare tire. Is this your daily driver tour? Yeah. Oh. So we go back. Where do you want to go so we can get you fixed up with today? Probably, if I can, is there, I don't know if there's a place underneath. Uh, we can't probably be on the design, we can open up here, and we can open up here, and we can open up here. So what you're going to do is you'll probably do what we'll do is we'll move you over by my camper, and uh, you'll be in the grass, Yeah. but you can pull it apart right there. Yeah. Uh, I got a, a bumper jack, you know, a jack that you put under the dip, or, I don't have jack stands, but maybe someone else will. Yeah. Well, maybe are there logs down there? We're gonna need to grab some. Logs. Yeah, there's some drop logs we need to do like too. We made set the logs on the on the dip for the shot post yeah, while he's still hooked up there. Yeah, yeah. We need to loop the tires off. Right, right. 
pull your dip cover off. down the road, but for a short trip out of the trail, it'll work just fine. Jeep now hooked, it was time to make our way back to camp. <laughs> I decided to take a little bit of a shortcut. Rather than to try and tow the Jeep up and down a few hills, we cut across, but that meant towing the Jeep through a pretty deep washout. Mommy, okay. After we made it through with the wrecker, it was Mara's turn with the yellow Jeep. She is a little girl. I know. <laughs> oh, shit. After the washout, it was a real short run out of the trail and back to camp. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it's almost on the ground. 
Oh, he's just gonna, he's got some short ones to go on. Oh, top okay, okay, yeah, that'll work. Yeah, there isn't two big ones, otherwise I'd have grabbed that big one. But yeah. Here, I'll just set those on top. Ready? <laughs> They sit flat enough where they're flat, but... Yeah, and you have both of them, it works good. Actually, right under the shock box, it's fine. Yeah, that's good. They're damn near the exact height. Oh, oh man, you couldn't ask for it. Yeah. Once it's done, we'll shake the shit out of it before we work on it. Yeah, yeah. Because, like, right now, would it be better if we were a little more centered on the blocks? We're at half inch forward, or at least an inch forward. He's going to be underneath it. That's not too bad. I got to put it in gear. Yeah. The other thing you can do is take your high lift and place a high lift under here to keep it stable. Yeah. We're in good shape here. Probably won't have some carpet on. BSF Recovery Team. Keep wheeling, and maybe we'll see you in the woods. Well, we got another one out of the way.